next game going forward, unless Vega have first pick, I think they have to ban this hero. Because MVP just know how to play it too well. They gave him a very easy lane, he goes Armut straight into Blink, doesn't even finish Treads, and just starts fighting. And he's not done yet. I mean, Hugo is he's coming up here on his own. He's ready to finally jump onto someone. No one teeping, trying to get himself out of will. I mean, Kyo tried just in case he could catch the puck out. But it's not going to be the case. Kyo just trying to assert his dominance this game. And, and I think he's done so. Yeah. yeah. 817, as you said. It's going to be very interesting to see how this is reflected in the next draft of game two. Because Vega quite literally getting slithering crushed this game. I think everything just kind of fell in place for MVP as soon as the Slardar got his Blink Dagger. The team fights just seem to always favor them. The last... Oh! Oh! oh, oh good fight, Mark! Ravage to the face! We then the strike here on this fight to come down as well. Look, the Crimson Guard built them through it. Now with the Temple of Vega, it's over. Drove it! Oh! 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 What a performance, I mean, Vega, they need to come back with a, with a totally different game plan in game two if they want to have a chance of taking a game against these guys. I, they just got a Ben Slarder, honestly. That, if you look at the way that they drafted, Juggernaut, we talked about in the beginning of the game how he's kind of 50-50 against Slardar, because if you get amped and you have spin, you're just going to get right click to death, you know? Like, the Slardar just does way too much physical damage to you. You can't ever spin defensively, and that's one of the biggest tools that Juggernaut has that makes him good, yeah. is the ability to spin inside of a team fight and feel safe. But you never have that against a Slardar. You don't have that against a Doom. I mean, even the Witch Doctor Deathward was dealing a fair amount of damage during some of these engagements. And then you had the Crosswax Invoker, which was great for the control, MVP punishing so hard when no one TP'd mid, and just getting momentum from that one little mistake, getting like two or three kills, and they just kept rolling throughout the entire game. It seemed like a long game, but it was only 25 minutes. I